Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. Today I'm once again tote diving and trying to pull something out of a bunch of random items in my storage containers to build something that is interesting and unique and uses materials that you may not think of using. Um, I bought a Venetian uh, Mardi Gras masquerade mask uh, a while back uh, to give you an idea of how long my hoarding's been going on. Uh, we took a trip to Italy about nine years ago and went into some of the actual Venetian mask making workshops and they were super expensive, couldn't afford to buy an authentic one. So as we're walking through Venice, we find a dollar store and we go in and they had a bunch of these just blanks so i bought a couple of them with the thought of hey i could make something cool out of these so i'm going to take one of those old dollar store venetian masks and <laughs> make something interesting out of it using that and some other new materials so let's make a, a tree mask let's get to building My mask base is pretty sturdy plastic and it was literally bought from a dollar store in Venice. I found this leaf wall decoration kit in the discount rack at my local craft store. I always check the discount sections at any store I go to for random potential prop items, just looking at shapes and things to find stuff. The leaves have a mounting bracket on the back of them, so I need to sand those off with a Dremel just so they'll lay flat if they're up against each other. So once all the surfaces are sanded, I start hot gluing on the leaves. Slather on hot glue on the back, hold it down till it dries, and then move on to the next. After I glue them down, I go back over the top with a big glob to lock it into place permanently. Now it's time to do a little sculpting. I'm using some Freeform Air by SmoothOn. It's a two-part epoxy and it's relatively light and easy to work with. I mix it up then spackle it on by hand. I was worried it wouldn't stay on the mask once it dried, but it, it ended up working out pretty good. Since the texture of bark is rough, I didn't try to smooth it out. I just left it as it was and it's okay if the layers are uneven on the mask also.
With a Google image search by my side of some tree bark, I scrape in some grooves with a wooden clay sculpting tool. I try to make it as random as possible while following the contours of the mask. After about four hours, it sets up and is rock hard. You can sand areas if you need to or go back in and carve more details. I hit it with two coats of black spray paint. Now time for the painting. I used a wide range of greens and brown acrylic paints from Platifex. I start with the darkest colors and work my way up. I dry brush it on to pick up on all the details, just hitting the high points. The lighter I get, the less spots I hit it with. The leaves get green and the bark gets browns. I found this moss at the craft store after I actually built the mask and thought it would be a nice little detail added on top of my bark. The moss is stuck on an adhesive backing that is super sticky. I cut off jagged pieces and attached them in random spots. I also super glued some smaller bits on in places to make it seem a little more organic and have better transitions between the moss and the wood. Last step is strapping. It's pretty simple. I have two pieces of small two millimeter EVA that I cut and glued to a one inch elastic banding for support. I rough up the back of the mask where the paint is so that the super glue will stick to it and then permanently stick them into place.
and we are finished. Here's the end result. Overall, not too bad. I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, I definitely like how the wood texture turned out on the mask. It's a weird combination of things I know. Uh, this this mask in particular with the extended nose um, is, is a bit weird. I have one that's even longer than this. Uh, another thing that I did, and it was pretty intentional that I did this, but these are kind of a impressionistic version of a leaf or an abstract version. It's meant for a wall decoration. Um, when I started putting this together, I thought, ooh, it'd look kind of cool if I put something that was kind of abstract against something that was more realistic, you know, juxtaposing something against something that doesn't belong together. Uh, and I think it kind of works. It looks cool in my opinion. I like how it kind of flows back across the, the top of the head like uh, hair almost. Yeah. Maybe you'll try and make one of these masks yourselves and impress your friends with your ability to turn things into things and people maybe like the things. Maybe. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these, tell them, much props. I would make a bunch of uh, plant jokes, but I'm trying to branch away from doing stupid cheesy jokes, so I guess I'll just leaf. <laughs>